Hello, my name is Biscrap and I am starting today with my new project with the um, design paper from Alchemy of Arts, Our Adventures. And I have um, from this paper two packs of the 12x12 and two packs of the 8x8. And in these 8x8 uh, paper pack there are 24 double-sided sheets plus four bonus sheets. This one with all these cutouts. Um, so we have plenty of these 8x8s and um, I have in these 12x12 there are six double-sided um, papers and these bonus sheet extra so we have enough papers to work with so and for the um, cardstock i will use this one here in the a4 size and i have um, 12 sheets in the 12 by 12 I have also, and I have also here some design paper that matches to the paper collection and I will use here some of these sheets for um, backgrounds or for uh, photo mats. This is from Paper Favorites in the 6x6. I have here these in these um, yeah, rustic option. Then I have here these with these gingham. I have some dotted papers and I have also from Mintai um, the basic book number five. There are some nice papers. They are matching with the colors from the collection and I have here this tag book and I will use here um, some of the tags because in the paper collection we don't have any or, or many um, tags or cards so this is the design paper um, the album itself is um, from the base an eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter base pages and this is inspired by um, a lady I think she is from Russia I'm not sure and she had an album this is I saw this video and this is only two minutes long um, she made a quick flip through to this uh, mini album and I was so in love with this work and with the papers she used that I um, will build this album again or by myself with all the measurements. I made some tryouts from, from the pages because of the measurements. I have to measure and to try if this will be all fitting. And we will have an inside front page, page one, two, three, four, five, and six, and the inside back. So this is the pages. And I put already for the cover three sheets from the 12 by 12 I put them aside for the cover decoration. I will use this one here for the front. I'm not sure if I will use this image or this image. I will see. Um, for the spine I will use here this part and these beautiful paper with the flowers and the mushrooms is for the back side. 
So this is in reserve. I have to write down all the measurements um, when we build this album. Um, the only thing that I have pre-cut are my base page, the eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter, and I will work with some round corners. In the whole album there will be round corners. So page number one. I have here some pictures how the inside front has um, to be and this is the tryout. We will have such a flip to the left and then we have here a double um, picture mat. We can flip to the right and we have here a pocket and inside of the pocket um, I will put some tags or maybe a picture mat or a booklet. So, um, yeah, I write down some of the measurements here and we will start. I need some papers. This is my base and then we have to cut one piece of paper in the measurement seven inch by five and a half. Um, Five and a half <clears throat> by seven inch. This is this flip here, and I will round right away the corners. So then I need. Um, a strip seven inch by two inch so I will cut here a two inch strip all the measurements you will get um, as always in the description box so by seven And on here we have to score at the seven inch a half inch. So half inch. Then I need um, another strip two inch by eight inch. Two inch, and I have to cut here a quarter off. Then I have my eight inch. And this we have to score at the eight inch, also at a half inch. This is for the right side. Then I need two pieces that measures four by five and a half. So four inch and inch and these two at five and a half and 
we have to round the corners. Oopsie. These are my flippable picture mats. And then we need uh, a pocket underneath. And this is in the measurements nine and a quarter by two and a half. Nine and a quarter by two and a half. Just a quick check. Yep. And we have to make there some score lines. two and a half we have to score at a half inch and on the long side the nine and a quarter on both sides also a half inch so, and then I have all my cardstock just a quick check we have this one, we have this one, these two, we have the pocket, and we have these two um, picture mats. Then we will start to glue this down. So the short one is here for the left side. I will glue this in the middle so I have to see that I have left and right the same space three and one eighth and yeah so let me make a mark Here and here. Okay. goes here on the left side and the longer one goes on the opposite side and I will use the other strip as my guide then the pocket for the pocket I cut here the corners
So let me secure my hinges and then we have to cut the corners. So quick check. This fits nicely. On the long flap, we will glue down here these two picture mats and I will try to do this in the middle. This is the spot and I will start here with the first one putting some glue here This goes next to the other one. This is not a nice corner, just a second. I don't cut this yeah now it's fine okay and this one goes here on top and I will do this one also in the middle. One and a quarter, one and a half, just a little bit. This is fine, um, but before I can glue this down, hmm, yeah, no, this is, I can manage this. I don't put the glue all the way down so I can shuffle under um, the design paper for the covering here and later on we put some glue under and this is done nicely 
glued down. So this is the base and we can decorate. Um, let me see. Uh, here on top, I will have this image. And I need a background. Maybe here this wooden looks nice. Uh -huh. I will use this. So, round corners, and of course, I need some ink. Um, let me use again the walnut stain. This is nicely a dark color. was a two inch so I cut this a little slightly smaller than a two inch This looks good.
so and I put there some glue to glue this perfectly down so and I think we have to do a magnetic closure um, yeah I need magnets So I will place this on here. So this is nice. The back side, um, I need another of these On the inside, um, on the inside, I will do which one. This one. So I will use this one. Um, does the green fit or does I think I will use the brown side? Same size as the front.
I colored my corners really good so this one will pops up a little bit more here from the background so then I will glue this down this this looks nice so here on the front um, use this here. First I will cut this in the perfect heights. What I don't know is how my cover will look like from the outside. Um, I will see if I can make kind of a frame, a three-dimensional frame, and we can work with of some of these cutouts to build there the scenery inside of this frame. This is the only thing I have in mind. I will see if this will work. On the inside, um, this is a nice background, so I will use this for the background. Yeah, 
let me cut this right away. background yeah And here the background, the pocket. Um. Let me use this one here. I will cut this as I will be shorter. I will have as much as possible here from this image. my stash if I have um, in all of my leftovers some um, sentiments I will use some sentiments this would be a nice space here to put one there And on this side, let me use this one. Or did we have something else? Maybe some solid ones. It's boring. Also boring. I 
I will use this for the mushrooms. And this would be the inside cover page. Um, here we had to do some tags. Um, but I will see how many leftovers I will have. What we can do with the tags. And then we can go to the next page, to page number one. Thank you.